All right, welcome back to putting stuff on a shank. Uh, oh wait, that's not what it's called. All right, hi guys. Uh, emergers are good. This is one. It is a parachute emerger and it's pretty good. Now, just to trip you out a little bit, I'm gonna do a whole bunch of these videos because I don't even know. So look at this one and now I'm gonna switch it out. Real quick times. Get rid of that. Boom. Another emerger of sorts. I want to say that these are different, but they're kind of the same. They're going to sit different in the water. This guy's going to sit lower in the water. And um, it kind of just depends on how you want it to look, you know. If you want it to sit lower in the water, I kind of like the look of this one a little bit better. Uh, I'm going to do one simple like this one, and then I'm going to do a video with it having a wing on there as well. And then, boom, switch note again to this guy, boom. Okay, so um, this guy is going to sit a little bit higher up in the water, parachute emerger style. Pretty sick, man. So many cool things coming, you know. Life is so good. So, with that in mind, let us do what we do when we get together, and that is tie one of these bad boys up. So, probably should have set up a little bit ahead of time so you wouldn't have to wait on me. Here we go. Classic. Now, you're gonna watch me tie this and you're probably gonna think it's just bunch of random crazy things that I'm doing and you'd be right. Alright, so I again am a big fan of the hot spots and that's what I'm doing right now. If you watch any of my other videos you know I'm pretty ridiculous when it comes to the hot spots and I get really excited about thread. Today is no different. Look at this thread. This is some hemp thread right here man. I found this thread he called me from across the room. I saw it and I was like, that thread must be mine. How much did I pay for this thread? Oh, it doesn't even say. It. Whoa, what the heck? Ah, oh, sorry guys. Sorry. Kind of took the wind out of my sails a little bit there. But this thread is freaking awesome, man. Like, this is such a good color. I always get really excited about nice thread. I, I got an orange thread for those who watch my videos enough know how I feel about that thread. It's so good. Hot spots. That's what we're doing. So I'm going to take a little bit. So I have a hackle of sorts here. And I'm going to take a little bit of that said hackle some of the longer pieces and I'm just going to make a tail. I hope you can see this okay. My camera was not liking There we go. Was not liking the uh, how, how small these flies are. Just didn't really like it at all. Okay. So we're going to tie that in there. Might be a little long. It's okay. It's okay. I often think about like the old flies, like way back, you know, before all the synthetics and before all the the crazy things. Like they didn't have fly vices like this that are like, I don't know, I think the guy that sold it to me said it had like space age material on it. I don't even know what that is, but uh, it's pretty lightweight. Nice little vise. They didn't have that kind of stuff. So. Yeah, we could tie a little bit better than they used to. So I'm sure if my dimensions are off just a little bit, I'm really not thinking it's gonna affect my life all that much. I'm gonna catch fish. Yeah. All right, so second bobbin goes on with some white thread. And uh, my cat sharpened his nails, that's very important for all you viewers at home. Now, I found this too. I saw it and I said, yup, this is ice dubbing 
Ice Dub UV Pearl. And I think it is sexy. And the combination between the pearl and the pink. Man, if you want to get your girlfriend into fishing, short one of these bad boys, she'll be like, damn. I want to get that in something's mouth. Or, hmm. I'll probably edit that part out. <laughs> okay. Um, windy, windy, windy. All right. And again, round and round we go. And we're almost done this fly. Uh, the, the next one I'm gonna do is gonna be a little more, uh, it's gonna be a little bit more to it. But this is just showing you how simple these mergers are and how amazing they are. And uh, then we'll get a little more tech, you know, as we go. Because why not start easy and then work your way up and see, you know, maybe this is where you wanna start. I don't know where you're at in your tying abilities. It doesn't really matter, man, because all these techniques go together and, you know, I just make it up as I go along, man. It looks like an emerger to me. So, good stuff. Actually, no, I'm going to do this. All right. Yeah, that's better. So I'm taking one of those things. Now, I went into a fishing store the other day. It's kind of a weird, weird store. Um, and I bought some stuff from it. And uh, if you know anything about these uh, hackles, they can get super expensive, man. Just crazy expensive and I'm winding it around. I'm kind of trying to move it forward as I kind of talk to you here. I like putting a whole slew of it on there so you might see me kind of going over the same spots a lot because I like to make it real thick. I want to stay on top of the surface of the water as long as I can. But uh, yeah, I, I actually picked up a, a hackle. It was really nice, man. Like I was like, it's so weird that I can lust over feathers, but it was such a nice hackle. But it was $70. And I'm like $70 for feathers at this point in my life. Maybe not. So I, I put her back, but you know, there's a good chance I'm gonna buy it sometime. <laughs> Who would have thought? I would, you know, I started fly fishing years back, and I couldn't have never told you that I was gonna end up buying seventy dollars worth of feathers. But here we are. This is what happens to you when you get into this stuff. Okay, dimensions are totally off on this fly. I think it's not perfect. It'll work. For sure, but it's not it's not perfect. I should have moved this a little bit further ahead, as you can see. Possibly. It's not bad though. I'm, I'm digging it. How easy was that? I was like one, one, two, three, four steps, something like that. Tie some of those bad boys, you know? And then when you got that master, we'll throw a wing on there. And it'll look so good. And you can use either or. All right, good stuff. Thanks so, so much for tuning in, guys. I'm having so much fun making these videos. It's really awesome. I've had some really nice comments and stuff like that. So keep the comments coming, guys. I'll uh, definitely uh, check you later. Okay.